Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm doing another exciting CPU showdown. It's going to be the Ryzen 5 1600X going up against the Intel i7 6800K. So this is going to be another core to core showdown since both of these guys are 6 core CPUs. So let's start out with the Ryzen 5 1600X. So this is a 6 core 12 thread CPU coming in with a base clock speed of 3.6 gigahertz, a turbo clock of 4 gigahertz, and an XFR of 4.1 gigahertz. So that'll be on that single core as well as the turbo clock. And the i7-6800K, the Broadwell eCPU, is also a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. Base clock a 3.4 GHz, turbo a 3.6, and with Turbo Boost Max, you'll see that go up to 3.8 GHz. But again, that will just be on a single core. Now, as far as the test rigs go, the 1600X was tested in the uh, X370 Ryzen test bench. This is based around the Gigabyte Gaming K7 X370 motherboard, which has been absolutely fantastic. It has pretty much all the features you would ever want. It is a little bit on the high side in terms of price, but I think it's worth it for what you get with it. It's a really solid motherboard. The 6800K there, here was tested in my personal rig. So this is based around the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Uh, I really like it. I really think it's got all the features that you would want with an X99 board, although X99 in general is getting a bit dated now, but it is soon to be replaced anyways. But yeah, it has done me very solidly. Now both of these were tested with the same memory, the G-Skill Ripjaws 4, a uh, 16 gigabyte kit at 2933 megahertz for all the tests. And of course the same GPU, which is my personal GPU, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 1080. So let's move on and talk about overclocking. So the 1600X managed to get up to 4 GHz on all 6 cores, which is pretty typical for a good Ryzen CPU. You should be able to see uh, 4 GHz out of it on all of its cores. The 6800K was also pretty typical. I managed to get 4.2 GHz out of it on all 6 cores. That's about standard, 4.2 to 4.3. Maybe if you get a really, really good one, you'll get 4.4 gigahertz out of it. But yeah, pretty standard for the 6800K also. Now, neither of these CPUs were throttling. The temperatures were good on both of them, so that wasn't an issue at all. And with all of that being said and done, let's jump into the benchmarks and see how these two CPUs perform. And we're back so yeah as you guys can see that is so so close in those benchmarks especially when you overclock both of these CPUs however the 6800k still comes out on top now if we add all of those uh, benchmarks together from 3d mark onwards you see that the 6800k even in stock form will beat in terms of average FPS the 1600x when it's OC'd but you guys have to remember that this difference here in FPS would not be noticeable to you if you were gaming. 
The main thing uh, many of you guys would have noticed is those render times coming down dramatically when these CPUs were overclocked. And that is something that you would notice if you were using either of these CPUs for productivity. But in just straight up numbers, the 6800K does win, but it is a very slight win. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and we do have to bring price into the equation. So the 6800K is certainly not a cheap CPU. Over at Playtech right now, it's going for 719 New Zealand dollars. By comparison, the 1600X will only set you back 419 New Zealand dollars over at playtech.co.nz. And I think that's much better value when you consider you are paying 300 New Zealand dollars more for basically two FPS on average. I don't see that being worth it at all and the render times with them overclocked were damn near identical so in terms of productivity they're pretty much identical. So when you bring price in the equation it's a big big win for the 1600X here. It is just so much better in terms of the dollars per frame. However that being said I wouldn't necessarily recommend the 1600X. If I had to pick out of the two obviously I would recommend the 1600X. As you guys can see for yourself it is much better value but if we bring it within Ryzen's own lineup I would much rather buy the Ryzen 5 1600 here as you can see it has the bigger box because it actually comes with a cooler the 1600x or the 6800k do not come with coolers so I would just buy the Ryzen 5 1600. Save yourself a bit of money. You have that stock cooler in there, which is actually pretty good. The Wraith Spy is a very solid cooler. And this is the one I would really recommend to you guys. So I just buy the 1600 and overclock it, and then you'll get exactly the same performance out of them. If you're not going to overclock, I would probably still buy the 1600. But hey, some of you might want that extra clock speed, so go for the 1600X. But for the vast majority of you guys, and especially anybody out there that is going to be overclocking, I would just buy the 1600. And yeah, these 6-core Ryzen CPUs are just absolutely amazing value. I just cannot recommend them enough. And out of all the Ryzen CPUs I've tested so far, the Ryzen 5 1600 is definitely the best value. This is a phenomenal CPU for how much it costs. Now I thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and share it around if you like and as always I'll see you guys next time.